Hello, my name is Tom Cardenas with California Surveying and Drafting Supply. In this video, we're going to cover processing 3D point cloud data from the Trimble FX scanner within Trimble RealWorks software version 6.5. In this presentation, we will cover setting our project preferences in RealWorks, importing control coordinates, importing raw FX data or .tzs files, extracting point clouds from the TZS files, extracting and creating targets from our point clouds, and quickly and easily registering or stitching together each scan to create a complete point cloud of the scanned object. The object of interest in this project is a bridge abutment for an as-built inspection comparing the 3D cloud to a design model. The field process involved a Trimble FX scanner with Trimble FX controller field software on a Trimble ruggedized tablet PC with no force processing for minimal scan times. No spheres were used, only black and white targets printed on cardstock. Control was set on each black and white target by shooting repetitive Phase 1 and Phase 2 DR or reflectorless observations with the Trimble VX robotic total station. A few field statistics. One of the features of the Trimble FX scanner is that leveling is not required, which helped to speed up the setup time between scans. The typical scan speed for two complete 360 scans per station was less than nine minutes per station. Total number of scans in the field, six, although we only used five of the scans for complete registration. The average scanning speed was about 94,440 points per second. Number of control points set were 20. For redundancy, though only about 12 of them were used for registration. Total field time, including setting the control, was less than two hours. Total number of points scanned was approximately 144 million. And data captured was high resolution photos with the standard point and shoot digital camera for post process point cloud coloring, the XYZ data of the point cloud, and of course the grayscale intensity. In this live demonstration, I'm going to be using Trimble RealWorks advanced software version 6.5 to import our control coordinates and to register or stitch each individual scan together in order to create a complete point cloud of the scanned object. Prior to importing our control coordinates into RealWorks, we want to make sure that we edit our preferences so that our length units match the units of our imported control coordinates. To do this, we can simply click on Edit, click on Preferences, select our Units tab, ensure that we're using an acceptable number of decimal places, in this case three are fine, and under our Unit System, make sure our length is set to meters because our control coordinates were set using meters. Go ahead and click OK, and your units are set. We can then import our control coordinates simply by browsing to the folder that contains the comma delimited text file with our control coordinates. To verify that the file is correct, we can open it up and examine it first. You can see that we have the point name, northing, easting, elevation, and a feature code if we have one. And to import it into RealWorks, we can simply click drag and drop the file into RealWorks. This will open up the Survey Network Import dialog, which we can then edit to correctly match the format of the file that we're importing. Ensure that your separator, in this case it's going to be a comma, is correct, that your file format is also correct. Remember we're using a point name, northing, easting, elevation, and a description or feature code and that your units are correct as well, and in this case, our coordinates are in meters. You can preview the coordinates on the bottom of the screen, and if everything looks correct, you can click OK, which will import your control coordinates. 
This will create a new station or group of points within the list view as well. If you double click on that station or that group of topo points, you can see a list of all the points you collected in the field. We can now import our first TZS file, which is going to create a new station in our list view. To do this, we'll click on File, Open, navigate to the directory containing our .tzs files, make sure that our file of type is set to .tzs file, and finally select the .tzs file that we'd like to open or import to create a station with. Click Open. And you can see that we now have a new station in our list view with the same name as our TZS file. In order to extract a scan into that station, we'll right click on it and choose the last option which is complete station by adding new scan. Once again, we'll see the open file dialog and by default, the TZS file with the same name as that station will be selected. Simply click open and a luminance image containing your scan will open on the top of your screen. The scan creator on the left hand side of your screen and a 3D viewer on the bottom of the screen. To create the scan, simply choose either creating a scan by step or by spatial properties or point cloud density. You can set a range filter and once you're satisfied with your settings click create in order to extract the scan. Once the normals and discontinuities have been computed you'll see your point cloud show up in the 3D view screen at the bottom window. If you have several million points within the scan, the RAM loader dialog will pop up and this will allow you to load a smaller point cloud or a smaller number of points, although it's saving all the points from the scan on your hard drive. This will help to alleviate some of the video processing on your system and allow you to navigate around the point cloud a little bit more efficiently. Once your scan has been created, you can click Apply, and you'll see your new scan appear in the 3D view. You might receive a warning on the top of the screen, because remember, the FX scanner started with an origin of 0, 0, 0, and if you seeded the project with your control, the control might be far away. This will be corrected once we register the scan. To load up the rest of your points, you can click on the Partial Loading Manager icon, which is directly to the left of the registration drop-down. Slide the number of points all the way up to 100%. And this will give you a higher resolution of scan to work from in order to extract your targets for the registration process. We can now extract our targets, ensuring that we're in the registration module select your station, go to registration and open up the target analyzer tool. From here we can begin to extract our targets from the scans. Step one is to select the correct station. Step two is to select a target and you can see that we have no fitted targets just yet. In order to extract or fit targets to our scan, we can click on the scan tab. We want to change the cloud color from scan color grayscale intensity. This will help us to better visualize each scanned black and white target. We can then zoom into our targets and use the center on point tool to navigate a bit more easily. Finally, step three allows us to create our targets from the scan. We want to change our fit geometry tool from a sphere to a flat target. 
And from here, we can simply lasso the black and white area like we would with the segmentation tool. Click on the Fit Geometry button, which will then find the center point of our target. If we're not satisfied with that center point, we can simply re-lasso more of the black and white area. Click the Fit Geometry to Cloud button. And you can see now we have a much better fit on the center point of that target. Go ahead and hit the Create button and rename your target to match the control point. I will now repeat this process for at least two more control points within the scan area. Once your targets have been fitted and correctly named, you can close the fitting tool. You can now see that I have three reference points tied to the targets from my field scan. We're now ready to register or to line these targets up with our control coordinates. Go ahead and close the target analyzer tool and ensure that you're still within the registration module. Click on the entire project, select the registration drop down menu, and choose the name based registration tool. This will open up your control tool, which will show you how your targets that you extracted are fitting the control that you imported. I'm okay with a couple of millimeters, so I'll go ahead and close out this tool. I can scroll to the bottom of the target based registration tool. Click on Apply. This will transform our database points to line up with our control coordinates. I'll click Close. And now if I tap on Zoom Extents, you'll see that my target points from my scan now line up precisely with my control coordinates. I'll go ahead and repeat these steps for the remaining scans or stations within this project. And once that's complete, I'll have a complete bridge abutment that I can then segment and use to compare to a design model. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me, Tom Cardenas, at California Surveying and Drafting Supply. I can be reached at tomc at csdsinc.com or by visiting our website at www.csdsinc.com. Thank you.